Hey guys, today I'll be showing you these thick, gooey cookies I made. They're inspired by a famous New York bakery, Lavon, and their chocolate chip and walnut cookies. I've been eating a lot of cookies lately from the supermarket, so I really wanted to try making some myself since homemade baked goods are always better than store-bought, and I thought these ones looked pretty delicious. As with most cookies, they're pretty easy to make. It's just a process of blending the ingredients together one by one. Then the dough sits in the fridge for about 15 minutes, and the real trick with these is cooking them just the right amount of time so they remain gooey inside instead of being cooked all the way through. To help achieve this, you use a kitchen scale to weigh each bowl of cookie dough before cooking so they're all equal in size. It was my first time making them, so I'm not sure I mastered the cooking time this time around. They were really delicious right after cooking, but by the next day I found they weren't as soft. But it is winter here, so the cold air might have something to do with that. I have a feeling they might do a bit better in summer, because if I stick them in the microwave for 15 seconds, they're nice and soft again. I got this recipe from The Domestic Rebel, which I'll link in the description box below. Plenty of cooking tips on there if you're interested. As you can see, they take around 20 minutes to prep and around 12 minutes to cook each batch in the oven. The ingredients for these are eggs, walnuts, cornstarch, unsalted butter, baking soda, salt, chocolate chips, all-purpose flour, vanilla extract, light brown sugar, white sugar, and cake flour. Or you can substitute plain flour and cornstarch for that. I'll list the quantities down below in the description box. The chocolate chips are a big part of these cookies, so try to get the best ones you can find. Next time I definitely like to try these with some milk chocolate chips, or maybe even a blend of milk and dark chocolate chips. Just depends on what you prefer. For the equipment you need, a large mixing bowl, measuring cups and spoons, a spatula, kitchen scales, baking paper, a baking tray, a knife and chopping board, and a stand mixer, which I didn't have so I just used an electric mixer instead. So to start with, I'm going to cut up the butter into small cubes. I cut up a whole 200 gram stick of butter, which was a bit too much. As you can see, I ended up with a bit left over. That's why I think 150 grams is all you really need. Put the butter in the mixing bowl and add the sugars. half a cup of white sugar and three quarter cup of light brown sugar. And then mix the butter and sugar together. Start on a low speed and increase it gradually until it's light and fluffy looking. It should take a good few minutes with the handheld mixer. Then beat in the eggs one by one.
the mixture starts getting nice and creamy. Then add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And beat that a little more. You might need to scrape the sides with the spatula during this process. Then add a teaspoon of cornstarch and baking soda. And half a teaspoon of salt. Next, add one cup of cake flour, or the plain flour and cornstarch mix I mentioned earlier. And one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. and then mix that together on a low speed until it's just combined. Next I'll add two cups of chocolate chips. A 200 gram bag is a little more than one cup, so I just added two bags. Next is the walnuts, so first I'll chop them up. Measure out two cups. and add those into the bowl. I just wanted to make sure it was still two full cups worth once they were chopped. And then beat that together until it's just combined. Then put the dough in the fridge for about 15 minutes. At this stage, you can preheat the oven to 210 degrees Celsius. After that, it's time to weigh the cookie dough. And you can set up the baking paper and tray as well. Each bowl of dough should be 170 grams and formed into a rough bowl shape. Stagger them about 8 centimeters apart on the tray. You might fit about 3 or 4. Put the first batch in the oven right in the center. It's recommended to cook in separate batches for the most even cooking. They need about 10 to 13 minutes, but check them at around 10 minutes. They should look dry and dull on the outside and hopefully remain soft and underdone on the inside. While that first batch is cooking, you can weigh out the second batch. I got about five cookies on the second tray. I also found I had to press them down gently while cooking when they were a couple minutes away from being done and the dough is really soft. So don't do that too early into cooking. 
They're pretty delicate right out of the oven, so let them cool on the tray for about 30 minutes before moving to a rack or a container. And this is the final result, fingers crossed. Look how nice and moist they look on the inside, and they're crunchy on the outside. Maybe slightly overcooked, it's a bit tricky, but they were still really yummy. I do wish they would stay like this into the next day or so, but as they say, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And that wraps it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for tuning in again, and have a great day.